I don't know about you, but I haven't been able to stop thinking about this episode. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. I just wanted to do a quick video because I've been seeing people comment on this and some things going around the net about a little bit of a worry when it comes to that stinger we saw at the end of the season for The Mandalorian. If you're not caught up, I don't know why you're watching this, so get out, watch that, and then come back. I, but everyone knows now that the Book of Fett, the Book of Boba Fett, that is what was teased at the end, and it said December 2021. A lot of people are getting worried, and I gotta admit, I, mean, I am a little bit, but let's talk this through. People are worried because th this could be what's replacing the Mandalorian. Not necessarily replacing it, but you could literally, and I hear this argument, I was about to make this argument, you could literally keep the show called The Mandalorian, and next season, you're just picking up with Fett. You could literally just follow Fett and say, no, this is a new chapter for the Mandalorian. It is the book of Fett inside the Mandalorian. And then his path would cross with Mando's, with Din's, much like it did this season. You know, it, Din would come in kind of like Boba did. You know, you could alternate it like that. However, I don't think that's what they're doing. I think they could. I think they easily could. They could turn the series almost into an anthology. You could have it one season is, or two seasons you've got it about Din. Another couple of seasons is about Boba. Another season or two, it's about Bo. Bo-Katan. Another season, it's about Sabine Wren. Another season, it's about you just keep going through Mandalorians. And it becomes an anthology series in that sense. I wouldn't hate that. I really wouldn't because it would keep the story fresh. You could have all the characters from the other shows in the same series, much like I was just saying Boba and Bo-Katan still appearing but you'd be following these singular characters the entire time. I just don't think they're going to do that. One reason is Disney likes money, and they know they have a winning formula right now with Din Jaren as the Mandalorian. They probably don't want to shake that up too much. They've already shaken it up by taking away Grogu, which I'm still not convinced he's going to stay gone. But there are also threads left wide open in the Mandalorian. you you got to remember... That story is not done. Yes, he delivered Grogu. He accomplished that mission. The episode ended with him basically having a right to claim Mandalore. That is not going to get tackled in a Boba Fett series. And Filoni and Favreau have proven by just this episode that they aren't the types to make us wait. To make us sit around and wait. That's why we always got these predictions wrong this year. So many of us, myself included, got these predictions wrong because we kept predicting this series like it's a normal TV show. We were predicting it like it had the same formula. Oh, they aren't going to use the big characters. Oh, Superman's not going to appear in the Flash because they can't do that. They're going to tease Batman, but they'll never show him. You know, stuff like that. We're used to that. We're not used to and, and teasing out, oh, cliffhanger because they want you to watch the next episode. No, they have no interest in doing that. They are just telling a story. Their breaking TV convention by just telling a compelling narrative rather than trying to hook an audience because they've already got the audience hooked. So they didn't have to wait to have Grogu meet Luke. They didn't have to wait to uh, make it some sort of big cliffhanger, but they still left us a cliffhanger. They, we, we don't know what's going to happen to Den. We don't know what's going to happen to Bo. We don't know if she's going to try to kill him. Grogu go, go, gets on that elevator and those doors close. For all we know, Bo takes out her pistol and tries to take out Den, which would be really stupid considering he's wearing Beskar. But you see my point. We don't know what's happening in that room. And they just captured another point. They just captured Moff Gideon. Gideon is this huge asset they're going to need for the Republic. They, that's already been said. They, they probably also need him to reclaim Mandalore. That is my assumption because I think he was in charge of Mandalore. That's Every clue seems to read that, yeah, he was the guy in charge of Mandalore. That's why he's got the saber. That's why um, Bo wanted him so bad, not just for the saber, but because this is probably the guy who was in charge of all that. To sum up, Disney likes money. Moff Gideon, we don't know what's going to happen to him. They've just captured him. 
big dangling thread there. Din is the rightful leader of Mandalore, or at least has a rightful claim to it. We don't know what Bo's going to do about that. There are so many reasons to just continue the story of Din that it's... I don't see why they would just split off and go, nope, now we're just following Boba. So I, I don't think they are going to do that. I think, again, see Article 1, Disney likes money. Why have one Mandalorian series when you can have two? They've got, they've already proven they've got so much talent to go around behind the scenes now. They can easily balance a second series. So when they say, yes, Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett is coming next winter. I'm imagining, okay, so in December 2021, like it said, about now, next year, so December, probably what, 19th next year or something like that, Boba Fett will drop and that'll be, or maybe even on Christmas, and the week before will be the finale for The Mandalorian Season 3 because that is supposedly coming next winter too. So my assumption is it's probably just going to come at the exact same time that it came this year, essentially might be early November, late October, something like that. Maybe they'll switch to six episodes instead of a full eight. Who knows? But I think that's the tact they're going for, especially since Disney now wants to keep things on their service. They want one series to end and another one to start. One ser that series ends, another one starts. It all tracks. Because right now, they still don't have that many shows lined up that are, are in full production anyway. I mean, we got WandaVision coming up, and it's not Star Wars, I know, but I'm just talking about for them. We've got WandaVision coming up. We've got Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which I always say that wrong. Thankfully, I got it right. Then we've got nothing until winter, as far as we know. Disney does not want a vacuum. So I got to imagine there's probably going to be something that shows up in there during the summertime at some point. Who knows what it'll be? Maybe it'll be an animated series. Maybe it'll be a Bad Batch. I don't think we've gotten a date on that. All things being equal, even if they had to go the entire summer without anything, they could at least hopefully go, okay, we're going to bring Mando back October 1st this time. So keeping our viewers happy. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't think we have as much to worry about as people think. Just because they didn't mention it in the investors call, I think that was just them wanting to drop an enormous bombshell. You think Disney stocks didn't shoot up today after that announcement? Do you think not announcing it hurt their stocks after the insane amount of shows they listed last week? No. No. It hurt them none to not mention this. So, and if anything, it may have even helped. There. There are the reasons I have for why the Boba Fett series is not going to take the place of The Mandalorian. All right, tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you think I'm completely out of my mind and I'm off base totally. I'm basically writing or writing this, recording this to convince myself as well as you. Um, I am still doing an AMA uh, coming up shortly to celebrate crossing 1,000 subs. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, if you have any of those questions as well, leave those below. And let me know they're for the AMA because I'd like to uh, just chat with you guys. Also, uh, if you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe to see more content like this. All right. And before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thanks for watching.